Leonidas John Berzink. Extremely interesting matchup coming up. East versus West, 14. I originally had John winning. I've switched my mind after a little bit of analysis, a little bit of research, watching lots of videos, seeing their previous records. I think I, I want to say John wins this. However, I have to lean towards Leonidas. The German 25-year-old, I mean, he doesn't look like he's 25. He looks like he's probably in his mid-30s, mid uh, pushing late 30s. But a very young, talented bodybuilder. Well, it seems like he's coming from a bodybuilding world, as you could obviously tell. Facing off against the GOAT, John Brzezink. How do I see this match going? Really needed that. <clears throat> well, let's look on first of all how like let's just look at like from a size comparison. So we have a 60 year old John, still extremely talented. Well, the talent will always be there. Extremely strong, experienced, of course, the goat against the inexperienced Leonidas and in Relativity, who is an absolute beast. Apparently, Leonidas is weighing around 128 kilograms, which is about, well, it's close to 300 pounds. Both 5 foot 11, and I mean, obviously, uh, Leonidas with a 21.3 inch bicep. Now, it doesn't really matter, obviously, but we're, we're just speaking for size comparison. Man, Leonidas and John. So, just looking back at Leonidas's matchup against, well, Larry Wheels, I, I don't like to use that one because it was really his first official match. However, we can use the most recent one, which was against Schoolboy. Everyone knows Schoolboy. And even in this matchup, Schoolboy came in looking massive, looking extremely in good shape, big, strong, a little bit mysterious in a way, where you, you then you get this German 25-year-old bodybuilding freak who as of now, it seems like he has completely transformed from a bodybuilder to, at least from what I see, a complete all-round arm wrestler. His hand control is there. He has a good rise, good back, well, not good, insane back pressure. I think he has, I don't know, it's not the world's highest back pressure, but I think in the arm wrestling world, uh, he's, he's at the top. It's remarkable of what this guy is doing. Yeah, so back pressure. I haven't seen him press too much, but he, he seems like he has everything. And what he displayed in the whole schoolboy matchup tells me everything I really need to know. And then looking back on John Brzezink's last matches, I mean, John hasn't really had the best track record. I'll open up the results just to quickly run through uh, his, his last matches. So here we go. Just in... in just, yeah. John Brzezink loses two, causing enough three, nothing, which was wild. If we even just think about this matchup, which happened January of this year, Kozadinov essentially, I, I wouldn't say he ran over John, but he, he made mm, light work of him, uh, from what I see. Just from, I mean, the only match, no, he didn't even lose in that. I'm thinking of a different match. But Kraz, Krasadinov, Kostadinov, I don't know why I'm mixing up the, um, his name. His hook, John had nothing for him. The drag, it seemed like as soon as Kostadinov got in that deep hook and then dragged him across, he had too much pressure on the lower hand and then John was trying everything. Uh, top roll, really, really deep hook, uh, didn't have anything. So the fact that he lost to Kostadinov, mm, I mean, Kostadinov is no joke, but it, it was wild. Anyways, to keep going, he then lost against Andreev, 5-0. Uh, yeah, this is right arm. Um, then, he, then he won against Voda. Then who else? Oh, yeah, then he lost to Todd Hutchins 4-0. Now, Todd Hutchins, Todd Hutchins is one of those guys, every time I feel like he's going arm wrestle, I, I want to bet against him, but then he just proves me wrong. I've said this before. Uh, then he lost against Denis Aplenkov. Lost against Reckley Zierkshvili. Won against Petrenko. Lost against Hungerbayev, and the list just keeps going on. So he hasn't had really the best track record in recent 
history. But when I think of Leonidas and where, oh, excuse me, itchy. What the hell, man? Oh, Jesus. When I think of Leonidas and where he's coming from, the amount of experience he has in the sport now, how ridiculously strong he is, but yet extremely well connected on the table. If we look at this schoolboy matchup, it showed us everything we need to know. Top rolling, hook, the drag, the side pressure. He has it all. There was a moment in time actually in the, um, in the schoolboy match, matchup where he's into like a, a defensive top roll hook and then he legitimately just pronates and then schoolboy's hand flops and then goes on to win the match there. Wild, wild stuff. An immense amount of strength on him. So how do I see this match going now that I've essentially pumped his tires for the last couple minutes and um, essentially down-talked John? But how do I see it going? It seems like it's going to be a, I'll double check here. I think it's gonna be a best of five. Let's double check. It won't really matter. Yeah, so best of five right arm. I think the later this match goes, it's going to favor Leonidas, which you would think would be the complete opposite because John being the GOAT, you would think with all the experience he has, the endurance, he'd be able to run through Leonidas. But I just think that with Leonidas's track record, although it's short, he's showing extremely immense amount of endurance and obviously strength, which we've covered a ton. So at a best of five, I could see maybe John getting I just don't know if John is going to be able to answer the pressure of Hook. He, the only thing I actually think John might have on Leonidas, besides maybe like elbow connectivity, tendons, I mean the very basic principles, would be hand control. However, Leonidas has shown he has an absolute crazy hand himself. <laughs> Who do I think wins? Well, I, I'm going to give it to Leonidas. I don't think it's going to be a runaway uh, four nothing, five nothing matchup. I do see John getting at least a pin or two, but I would not be surprised if Leonidas' strength is just overwhelming to John. I mean, <clears throat> uh, look at him, look at his lefts, what he's done. He's, he's doing, like I, like I said, he's doing absolute immense amount of weight in arm wrestling lifts more than most people can do what he did the schoolboy is phenomenal coming back from two nothing to win three two and at the end of that matchup schoolboy was panting and sweating and leonidas was there as if you know he's going out to the beach he, he no sweat on him just chilling yeah what do you guys think i think it's going to be extremely interesting and you know what even though I'm on Leonidas' side for this, which I'm surprised myself, I would also not be surprised if John runs over Leonidas. But after the schoolboy matchup, I mean, schoolboy's school a killer. Everyone knows, everyone sees it. What schoolboy is doing in the arm wrestling world is phenomenal, especially at a young age of 25 years old, just like Leonidas. So I would not be surprised to see John win. However, I am fairly convinced off of watching the previous matches, looking at the stats, looking at the numbers these guys are putting up, and just the age and their prime. I mean, obviously, John, right now, still an elite arm wrestler, top of the world. Uh, I don't know if he's top of the world. He's, he's, well, he's top of the world, but not in terms of like maybe from a ranking standpoint. However, relatively speaking, I just see Leonidas being too much, and Leonidas is on the uprise. 25 years old, 60 years old, coming off an absolute detrimental, um, well, not detrimental, he's coming off at a crazy win of schoolboy, which was not easy, but he showed everything we needed to see in order for him to become an absolute, yeah, just to become a really good arm wrestler. So John Brzezink loses this one. I'm going to say a final score of four to one or three to two. I think John can sneak a win in. Maybe, maybe John comes in for a flash press. I just think the, the amount of power that Leonidas has in his bicep will be just too much. His forearm is so strong in that cup. 
yeah. So I'm gonna give this one to Leonidas. Three, two, or four, one. And it should be wild. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see it. And that's going to end the video. If you guys liked it, like it. Consider subscribing. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.